Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're back with a mod review today. As you can probably tell by the title, we're reviewing a data center. Yeah, weird, right? Basically, this is a space data center is the name of the mod. It's adding server racks and associated stuff to Space Engineers. More sci-fi technological stuff for the mess around it. Because you know, most sci-fi things, they always have servers and data racks, all that fancy jazz that handles all their massive computers, stuff, like Star Trek, Battlestar, all of that fancy stuff. Well, maybe not Battlestar too much, but you know, you get what I mean. Anyway, basically, it's a programmable block reskinned into a server rack. Now these actually look very close to IRL servers. If you went to a data center right now, you'd probably find they looked kind of very similar to this. I mean, the ones in my college sort of doing, obviously not of a green tint, we're not, we're not NVIDIA sponsored. But hey, these server racks in here kind of do look the same. Pretty cool. This amazing mod is made by Movies, is how I believe you pronounce their name. Movies? Moo cow. But yeah, basically that's how I think you pronounce it. Sorry about the cow joke, I just really felt pretty to make that. But yes, anyway, these come in a large and small factory. We've got little small blocks over, which I find really cute. They're little, really different. So like, imagine just having these on a small fight or something. I don't know, it's just something about them that makes them really small. Like, you can just kick them off. When else in life can you kick a server back around? But yes, the detail on these mods is something I love. I mean, just look at it. All the flashy green lights, the LEDs on this was pretty cool. I think, I don't know if these can be connected up to anything. I don't think there's a need to anyway. For the double side as well, I will show you what they look, si uh, look like inside a ship in a minute, so get ready for that. But they do look pretty cool. And they operate just like a basic program block. So the Steam description reads this. Automatic program block, no time needed. So it's automatic, that's another thing I felt I needed probably to add at some point, but it is an automatic program block, so you don't need a timer. It's a server rack like those in data centers, IT, act as a program block with a special feature. It will be script inside consistently without needing a timer. The delay is configurable. Now that is awesome. Mixing the timer and the program block at the same time, not bad. Features, three new blocks made of custom models and textures, a large server rack, which I believe is this one, the small server rack here, and oh no, this is the large server rack, this is a small, and this is a large server rack with a terminal. We've got this here, we can access it. Basically, it's always how your um, difficult program block, oh, program, blah, words, it's how your normal program block operates. It is pretty cool. Uh, they are program blocks that run their script on mass without needing a timer. They can be configured using a slider change of frequency at which the script executes. Ah, so that's where the timer bit comes in here, is this bit here. Uh, works well on single player games and dedicated servers. So these can work in your multiplayer games. Now I don't know if they have um, build states. Let's have a look at this minute. Let's grab that grinder there. Oh hello, they have build states. Now that is pretty cool, isn't it? I like this. How far can we go? Not that far. Okay, so it's got a good couple of build states. Which is not bad, to be honest. So you've got that build state. We've got this is the second one, which is sort of just like a metal frame around all the racks. Then you've got a second to third one, or second to final. This one's pretty cool. Is that with all the fancy LEDs? And then boom, LEDs. They look really cool then. I like that. Uh, these are the same as the look. Yep, I think it's, yep, those one along the same as well. It is pretty cool. Anyway, let's hop up to the Phoenix a minute. Remember guys, this is the RWI Phoenix. You can find this on the Steam Workshop below. It's one of the ships I made. I know, fancy that for a change. Now if we hop in here, this is what we look like when inside a ship. Obviously I don't have any of the mods on for this world, hence the bridge is empty, but hey. They look really cool inside a ship. You can imagine walking into like a ship's data center and be like, hmm, servers are all offline. Imagine like red sparking out and stuff like that. It adds more technology and a good feel to the game. I like the programming blocks as it is in Space Engineers. However, it doesn't give that much of a sci-fi feel. Whereas actually having proper server racks kind of does. Although they do the same thing, it's just the look and feel of it. I like it. It definitely it looks better in my opinion. What do you guys think? If it, I'm interested to know your opinion. But anyway, this has been the server rack and space data center mod. There's not really much more I can cover about this. I could run you through basic scripts and stuff like that. However, like I said, it operates like a normal program block with the addition that has a timer built in. There's not really much more I need to show you. However, I definitely encourage you to go download this mod and have a play around a bit. The link has always been down below in the description of the video, along with all my other social links such as our Discord server. Come and join our Discord server by the way, we're doing a few community game nights soon, stuff like that, Battlefront 2, Space Engineers, Planet Side, it's all going to be pretty cool. But guys, thanks for watching, I've been Cam Jack, I hope you enjoyed this little mini review here, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.